Eco Rangers. I'm Susan here at Shangri-La Botanical Gardens. And remember this week we're studying about garden helpers. Yesterday we studied about our little honeybee that helps spread the pollen and sips nectar and makes honey. Well today we're going to be studying about a beautiful butterfly. And butterflies are garden helpers too. They also sip nectar, but they don't make honey. They use that nectar as food, but they still spread the pollen around to wake up the flowers and tell them to make fruit, which makes seeds, which makes new plants and flowers. Hooray for the butterflies! This is a picture of a real butterfly. This butterfly happens to be a monarch butterfly, and they're very common in our area. You see how what beautiful colors, but butterflies can come in all colors, sizes, and shapes. They are insects, like we talked about yesterday. And insects have the three body parts. Let's name them, see if we remember them. Head, thorax, abdomen. They have two antenna, just like I have and you have with your costume. And they have six legs. So that is, makes it an insect. We also have our little song that we learned yesterday, if you'd like to sing along with me, that helps us remember the body parts of an insect. Ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Six legs and antennas too. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Eco Rangers, in your basket of supplies, you have a story, and it's our butterfly story today. So if you would like to get it out and read along with me, you can, or you can just listen to the story and read it later with your adult. Here we go. Butterfly Travels. Where are you going, butterfly, butterfly? I'm fluttering up in the big blue sky. What will you find, butterfly, butterfly? I look for sweet flowers that are close by. Why do you fly to flowers so sweet? I land on them softly with my six little feet. Why do you land with your six little feet? To sip some nectar that is oh so sweet. The end. I would like to tell you about the life cycle or the life of a butterfly. Well, first of all, we have the adult butterfly and she goes over to a nice green leaf and lays some eggs. Then, after she lays the eggs, they stay there a while and then uh, out of that egg comes a very lively, wiggly caterpillar. The caterpillar does not look like the adult, does it? No, it looks entirely different. But that caterpillar eats and eats and eats. And then it begins to get still and hang upside down on, under a leaf or a twig. And then after that, it's still for a while and it's kind of like a changing station inside that chrysalis. And after that, it emerges after or comes out, out of that chrysalis and it's an adult butterfly. Let me demonstrate. First of all, we're going to be an egg. Oh, that butterfly laid some eggs on the leaf. Oh, I'm very still. Then all of a sudden, there's some wiggling going on. Oh, and out comes a caterpillar. Oh, and I'm so wiggly, but I've got, I'm hungry. I need to find something to eat. So I go over to a nice green leaf and I start chewing and chewing and chewing and eating and eating and eating. Oh, and I get bigger and bigger. Then, all of a sudden, after I've eaten and gotten big, I want to go over to a twig or underneath a leaf, and I attach myself, and I hang upside down, and then it's kind of like a changing station. Uh, it forms into a chrysalis. Can you say that big word with me? A chrysalis. And inside that chrysalis, I'm changing, I'm changing, I'm changing from a caterpillar, which is the larva stage, another big word, larva stage of the butterfly, and I'm changing, and all of a sudden, 
it's wiggling again, it's wiggling again, and I emerge as a beautiful butterfly. I'm the adult again. And that life cycle goes over and around again and again. Now, Eco Rangers, we want you to act out the life cycle of the butterfly. I'm going to play some music in a minute, and what we're going to do is you're going to act out the life cycle of the butterfly. All right, first of all, I need all of you to get in a position like this because we're the egg. All right, when we play the music, I want you to come out as a, help me out. Yes, you're right, a caterpillar. Here we go, real still. Uh-oh, something's happening. Are you wiggling? There go. Oh, music stopped. We're in our next stage of the life cycle of the butterfly. We were a caterpillar. We got so big. Now we have to be still. And let's let's hang. Here we go. Uh oh, we're very still. We're changing. Ooh, I hear the music. Here we go. Rangers, you did a wonderful job acting out the life cycle of the butterfly. Well, now we're going to do an, a beautiful art activity, but it kind of has a strange name. I call it, let's make a smash butterfly. A uh, smash butterfly doesn't sound very good, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper and some tempera paint, and we're going to smash that paint, and hopefully we'll have a surprise at the end. It's real easy to do. So watch me. You have in your basket a white piece of paper. It's a little stiff. But what we're going to do, the first thing is we're going to fold the paper in half. Did you see how I matched up the edges? And we're going to fold it and give it just a little crease. That means we're going to press down on this folded edge. Just like that. Now, open it back up. And you should have in your basket two colors of paint, a blue and a yellow. So very carefully, we're gonna take off the lid of one of the paints. Did you see how I did that? And now we don't wanna pour it all on there. We're just gonna pour a dot right in the center line, right here. So we're just gonna pour a small dot of paint. If you need help with this, that would be fine. But see how I did? I just did a small dot. Now I'm gonna put the blue to the side because I don't need it anymore. And the next step is to get the yellow. And we're gonna put the dot right next to the blue. Do you see how I'm pouring it out? And remember, not a huge blob because we don't want it to come out of the paper. We want it to stay right there. So see, just another little dot and put your paints to the side so they don't get in your way. Now we're going to fold the paper back just like that. Did you see how I did that? I folded it back gently. Now where I think the paint is, I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to smash it. Remember the name of it? The Smash Butterfly? And do you see how I'm going up to this corner and then down to this corner? And I'm going to do this several times with my fingers. You can press hard if you want to because the paper is stiff, but you just keep smoothing it to this corner and smoothing it, starting in the middle and out and the middle and out. Now we're ready for the surprise. Are you ready? Let's open it slowly. <gasps> we made a beautiful butterfly. Now, don't fold it back because it's beautiful when you open it. So let it dry for a little while and you have a packet of crayons in your basket. And later, you could draw a head on your butterfly with the antennas. If you wanted to draw the head 
and the thorax and the abdomen. Maybe add some legs or some spots, or you can just leave it just like it is. You may color some flowers for the butterfly to sip nectar from at the bottom. So it's your butterfly. Enjoy. Eco Rangers, you have a collection of songs in your basket. And so let's look at the butterfly song and we'll sing it together. It's to the tune of My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. But you can listen first, we'll sing it two times and maybe by the second time you will, can sing along with me. Here we go, the butterfly song. The butterfly flies through the flowers. She flutters up and down. She sips the nectar so sweetly. Around the garden she flies. Up and down, sip and sip. Up and down and sip and sip. Up and down, sip and sip. Around the garden she flies so sweet. Let's sing it one more time, and I bet you will learn it with me. Sing out, because it's fun. Ready? The butterfly flies through the flowers. She flutters up and down. She sips the nectar so sweetly. Around the garden she flies. Up and down, sip and sip. Up and down and sip and sip, up and down, sip and sip, around the garden she flies, so sweet. Thank you boys and girls. In your basket of supplies, you have an outline of a beautiful butterfly. Well, this is what I call the stained glass butterfly. And as you can see on my costume, there's black lines with colors in between. It's going to be kind of like that, but you can make your own butterfly because remember, butterflies come in all colors and sizes and shapes. So this is your own personal one. So you should have a piece of paper with an outline of a butterfly and you should have a packet of crayons. Right? Let's have our paper spread out. Then we're going to open our packet of crayons and let's get out the black crayon first. All right, with your black crayon, you're going to bear down kind of hard, but not too hard to where you don't break your crayon. So you, this is up to you. You can make straight lines like this and just make straight lines, or you could make wavy lines like this, or just zigzaggy lines. It's up to you. But don't make too many lines because you have to color in between. And if you want to mix up your lines like I'm doing, that's fine too. But do you see how I'm leaving big spaces in between? Because those spaces, we're going to color just like my cape. Now, if you want to make it like a monarch butterfly like I showed you, you can. Or you can make it any colors you want. Make it colors to the rainbow. So watch. I'm going to use my orange, and I'm going to color in this space, but I think my butterfly is going to be a little crazy, so I'm going to use different colors. I'm going to use a green. You see how I'm filling in the spaces? That's why you don't want to make them too small, because it will take a long time to color. Do you see how this is looking? But it's totally up to you. And if you have more crayons at home that you like other colors, you're welcome to use those. But remember, you draw your lines with a black darkly, and then it really shows up. But see how pretty it's looking? Have fun. Thank you for joining us today, Eco Rangers. We've talked about butterflies as garden helpers. And remember, they're like our little bee helpers also. They sip the nectar, and while they do that, they accidentally spread pollen, which wakes up the plants and tells them to make fruit. Then the fruit makes seeds, and then it makes new plants and new flowers. So that's the purpose of plants. They want to make new plants. So thank you, butterflies. You are such a good helper. Remember, I have a challenge for you. You can take out your binoculars that we have for you, 
and go outside and look for beautiful butterflies. Look for the colors of the butterflies, if they're different colors. Look for the sizes of butterflies to see if they're large butterflies or small butterflies. And look for the patterns on their wings. Just like this has a pattern, see what kind of patterns. They may have spots, they may have lines. Have fun, and thank you for joining us. Thank <laughs> you.